Coach, we went for the Grizz. Your uh, initial thoughts after that one on the road? Well, it's uh, there's two things I want to say. Uh, one is it's hard to go back to back on the road and take two long road trips and come away with decided victories like we did. Uh, so it was a great effort by our team today. Offense, defense, special teams. I thought we uh, succeeded in all three phases. And then the other thing I want to say is, you know, we've taken a knee two or three times on the one yard line at the end of the game. And uh, we probably should have done that today. So I, that's normally what I do. And I kind of, I should apologize to those Cal Poly guys for, for scoring that last one. When you are able to win back-to-back -back road games, what does that tell you about your team and just what they're capable of going forward the rest of the season? Well, I mean, there's a couple ways to answer that, Frank. One of them is, you know, you're going to play a significant number of games on the road. You don't get them all at home, so you better win if, if the expectation is to try to win them all. So um, I think our guys have evolved into a group, and it, it's, it's not just this team, but a couple of previous teams, we've really uh, – embrace the, the road warrior mentality and uh, wanting to win on the road, enjoying winning on the road. I mean, it's, that's not to say we don't love our home game, but it's, it's fun to go win on the road too. You know, the, the junior punt return for the touchdown means a lot to you guys and the whole team just to bring him to get six and set a big sky record. What, what does that mean to you? Yeah, we, we knew going into the year he's one away from the record. Um, we had we had one real close one early in the season where, where he was going to convoy it in, and uh, one guy got him, and we let him slip off the block. And then we really haven't had a lot of return balls. Um, Hunter's been doing a good job keeping it away from us. Field position's dictated. We couldn't really go for it. We, we rushed last week. So... Uh, you know, with that being said, it was great to, to get that in the end zone. It was kind of a big play in the game, frankly. It got us away from them significantly, and, and uh, certainly we're excited for our punt return in for June. What do you think about being able to take away the ball on defense? Well, you know, taking the ball away and not giving it up are, are good things in terms of winning and losing. Um, you know, we had another one that got, got called back on a penalty. Uh, so uh, it, it's always it's always good to take the ball. Junior's punt was kind of the snowball effect, right? Kind of like you mentioned, it's just then it was turnover, score, turnover, score. Like, just how did you notice it? I really did. change it? Yeah. Yeah, and then they they, they were in a. You know, everybody's trying to win, right? And they were in, then in a situation where they couldn't manage the game. You know, down two touchdowns, they could still manage it. Try to get a score, then get a stop or onside kick or something, still be in it, you know. And, and then when that happened, then they, they had to kind of depart from what they wanted to do, and then that's where the, the dam broke. The, aside from the turnovers, too, the defense had three fourth down stops. Just speak to their ability to buckle down in moments like that and kind of, you know, bend, don't break, and really get, get them off the field. <laughs> Who is that? Uh, <laughs> we, we, uh, we did a good job in third down. Um, it, was, it was pretty consistent. We did a good job in short yardage, did a good job in long yardage. Um, we did give away some yards in some of those situations, but uh, you know, it was they were not for first downs. So uh, I like I like the way the defense played in third down. I thought the plan was good. I thought the execution was good. And in the second half, just what you think of the offense's performance to kind of you know, kind of get rolling a little bit more and get some points on the board? Well, it, it was good. You know, we were we were. Um, we were, we we're not consistent within drives enough. I mean, we had plays and we had, some, you know, and I, I should give credit where credit's due as well on, on uh, Cal Poly's side. They had a good defensive plan for us. Uh, they had two weeks to prepare. Cody did some great stuff front-wise, pressure-wise, uh, to take away some of our, our favorites. And we had to get to some other stuff, and that's why you saw us be more productive in the second half. But uh, they had a good they had a good game plan for it, so that was a good half of football by their defense. What did you think of your offensive lines play? It looked like you were rotating several guys in there yeah, throughout the game. Um, I, I don't know. It's hard for me to say. I mean, that's I can't. The honest answer is I can't see nothing from the side. Of it. So. And you guys were able to throw the ball for over 250. So what do you attribute to the success moving the ball through the air as opposed yeah, to on the ground? Um, yeah, we, we threw it pretty successfully. I'm looking at the numbers. Um, would like to 
you know, I would like to hit a little bit higher percentage. Um, I thought we had some more uh, downfield game that we didn't really get to. Uh, but it was good. I thought guys, guys, there's a lot of guys had catches. Guys made plays. Uh, guy made, guys made plays in zone coverage and traffic, getting hit. Uh, so uh, it was good. You guys have a massive game coming up against UC Davis. What did you think? Just your did they team? win today? Yeah. What did Good. you think of your team's ability the, the past few weeks to just kind of focus on the, the game at hand? And did you worry about them looking ahead at all or feel like they got I, caught I, up in uh, that? I did not worry about them looking ahead. It's uh, not allowed. Good? Yep. Okay. Thanks, awesome. Thanks, Coach.